In my last video, I had the basics for a tower defense game, but in this video, I've put in four times the work, totaling my project over 20,000 lines of code. So after two months of hard work, this is what I've added. First, I deleted the previous enemy system because you guys warned me it would cause lag and let exploiters teleport enemies away. In my new system, I fixed both problems by making the server move invisible parts that have data for the enemy attached to them. Then the client will create a fake enemy that follows the invisible part. Next, I added a shotgun class. I started by getting a model for the shotgun and then rigging it for animations. I animated an idle animation, then an attack animation. I added a keyframe reach signal so I could also have a shell eject animation. Then I needed a hotbar, so first I designed a hotbar that would display what towers you had equipped. Then I created a placement system with some cool sway animations. It shows green when you can place the tower, and red when you can't. There's also a rotation animation when you press the rotate button. Now I needed a way to equip and manage towers, so I needed a main menu. But first, I need to explain the premise of my game. In my game, players can only use towers provided by their friends. Both you and your friends are limited to five towers. The stats for these towers are randomly generated, and the only way to change them is by re-rolling completely. But since you only have five slots, re-rolling has to be done wisely. To put it simply, if people aren't fighting because they defriended them on my game, I didn't implement this feature properly. Now that you understand my game, we can get into the main menu. It contains several sub-menus, including the friends menu. In the friends menu, you can view your friends, remove them, or view their profiles. There's also a section for managing incoming friend requests. When you go to view a player's profile, a new tab will appear on the left side of the screen. From this menu, you can see the user's towers and their level. Once you're done, you can close the menu and it'll disappear from the left side. Then I added a tower menu. The tower menu is for managing your own towers as well as the towers in your hotbar. In order to manage your towers, select a friend from the dropdown and their towers will appear. Then drag which tower you want into your hotbar. To remove a tower, drag it out of the hotbar. Then I added a profile menu. In the profile menu, you can view your level, XP, and the towers you currently have. I also added two context menus for players and for towers. The player context menu will allow you to pull up the user's profile in the main menu, and the tower context menu will show information about a tower that is placed down, also allowing you to manage the tower if you own it. Quick interruption, if you're looking to develop large projects with advanced features, like in my game, check out my coaching program in the description. So after two months, I've added a new class, five new menus, a secure tower system, and an entire friend system. In the next video, I have to add the ability to roll towers, vote on maps, add matchmaking, add more tower classes, add an upgrade system to the towers, and more. So if you guys have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. Later.